Go back to Washington now, and the House getting ready to pass President Biden's nearly $2 trillion COVID relief bill. But the attempt to include a new $15 minimum wage suffered a setback overnight. Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott has the latest on where things stand. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning. And the headline here is that $15 an hour minimum wage increase will likely not be included in the final version of this COVID relief package. The House is still on track to pass a version of this bill today, but overnight in the Senate, a setback. Democrats have laid the groundwork to be able to pass this bill on their own without any Republican support, but that does come with limitations. And so in the Senate, you had this policy ruling saying that that $15 an hour minimum wage increase cannot be included in their version of the bill. The White House says President Joe Biden is disappointed by this. He is urging Congress to act and pass this bill quickly. It will likely make it easier for the Senate to pass this bill. You had two moderate Senate Democrats who were opposed to that minimum wage increase. But lawmakers here are up against a deadline. On March 14th, unemployment benefits for millions of Americans expire. They want to get this bill on President Joe Biden's desk before then. So this would extend those unemployment benefits. It would also include $1,400 in stimulus checks to most Americans, $350 billion in aid to state and local government, plus billions more for vaccine distribution, COVID testing, and grants for schools. Now, Republicans still opposed to that $1.9 trillion price tag, George. They want more targeted relief. And Rachel, we're also hearing now from the acting police chief up on Capitol Hill, concerned with a really stark warning about another possible attack on the Capitol. Let's look. We know that members of the militia groups that were present on January 6th have stated their desires that they want to blow up the Capitol and kill as many members as possible uh, with a direct nexus to the State of the Union. Now that isn't even scheduled yet. That is addressed to a joint session of Congress, but they are taking nothing for granted. Yeah, and this is really prompting new concerns, George, about security. So the acting police chief saying that while the fencing that you see around the United States Capitol is temporary, she believes the heightened security is absolutely necessary, George. Rachel Scott, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.